The next screen in the tab is the motor tab and this is where you can get into your fine tuning, especially for doing your uh, PIDs, acceleration and deceleration values. For this particular series of locomotives, I put in a fair amount of acceleration and deceleration rate. I put in 150 respectively for each. Um, I tend to operate with a lot of momentum. Uh, it gives it some really effective, cool running characteristics for those locomotives. And then if I need to um, kind of fine tune how the locomotive runs at a low speed, I can do that down here in these PID values. And these are strictly a locomotive by locomotive case. Every single motor, it's differently. The windings uh, can be different on each locomotive. Just depends on what these values may be in order to get the best performance out of a locomotive. Hey, one thing is, is that with a modern uh, fourth generation of decoders out now, and this is including Tsunami, to an ESU Loke sound. The basic speed uh, control tab allows us to go in and uh, change our uh, voltage start, mid, and high values. Um, I use a linear straight line. I went in programmed one for start, 40 for mid, and 80 for high. So the next tab is the speed table. And if you want to come in here and create some custom uh, speed step tables, either uh, really super slow running, so locomotives cannot exceed a certain speed, or you have a gentle uh, gradation of speed increase and decrease, this is where you're going to do it. You can shift downwards, shift back, also create a, a constant ratio type of curve really slow at the beginning and then gain speed towards the end and shifting right shifting left as necessary and then some uh, really nice uh, these two buttons down here or I should say two values uh, forward trim and reverse trim that allows you to uh, alter the speed of the locomotive either the forward or reverse movement you can increase or decrease that speed relative to a given speed step. Again, uh, some pretty powerful features, especially for uh, speed matching if you've got uh, two locomotives that are different. And this is the all important uh, function map. Um, this allows you to come in and assign any function to any button on your throttle. Uh, so for example, I went through and I disabled, or actually I matched all of the ditch lights to the headlight functions. And then I came down, I disabled a series of stuff that I just don't use. I'm always using uh, the braking features on these decoders. So for example, uh, the default for RPM up and RPM down, uh, as well as your uh, braking select and braking type of functions I mapped easy to use buttons on the throttle. A lot of these buttons were contained in the upper uh, levels like F14, F15, but I remapped them all. So now my RPM, if I want to override automatic up and down of the locomotive, I came in and I assigned uh, F6 and F7 to my uh, RPM up and down. The two different types of brakes on the Tsunami, the independent and the train brake are controlled on F7, and then F8 allows me to toggle back and forth uh, between those two brakes. Then also on here, the dynamic brake, uh, where are you, is contained here on F4. And then by selecting these boxes over here to the right, can actually control when your functions will occur relative to the position speed step of the locomotive meaning if I am in forward and I am in moving and I want the light to come on automatically I click the box okay that's all you got to do and then when you're do done any type of programming you come down here and you simply click on the right changes to uh, changes you've made on the sheet.